from an abuser to a self-proclaimed monster to a mentor, a local ex-con who struggled to get a job after getting out of prison is now helping other people who get out get back on their feet, and let's just say he doesn't take it easy on them. But he is making it easier for the community to see the people behind the stigma. Fox 8's Michael Hennessy joins us now. Michael, his latest effort comes in the form of expression. Katie Neal, it's called Second Chance, the creative impulse of the judicially challenged. And last weekend, it was an opening night for an exhibition, and then a car show, and then this weekend, the exhibition, it's open again. But just as every piece of art there tells a story, the man behind all this has a history all his own. It started when I was about 18. His name is Victor Michael Vincent Jr. And while he's held plenty of titles in his lifetime, he earned convict in his first year as an adult during a domestic situation with a girlfriend. When the police came, I tried to explain it but they put me in a chokehold. Um, feeling like I was going out, I fought back. Ended up with a 10 year sentence, because I ended up with assault charges with the police. One of them arm, one of them leg, one of them nose was broken. I've been this big since I was 16. He ended up serving about seven years of that 10 year sentence. They turned me into a monster in prison. Um, fighting was a normal thing, trying to stay alive. I came home a monster. And monster? isn't exactly the best resume builder. Ended up finding a home in a drug trade. Ended up becoming a heroin addict and using heroin and selling it at the same time. It wasn't until after he went to a trial for new charges and won that someone extended an olive branch. Her Smoke was the mayor of Baltimore at that time and said, I'll give you the help you need to get your life together. And I never looked back. He moved to North Carolina got his GED and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And I made myself a promise if I ever got on and I got successful down here in Greensboro, I would work to help men and women who face the same obstacles and barriers I face to become successful. Today, he not only works for the city of Greensboro, but also created the nonprofit called the Reentry Expert Incorporated, where he works with the formerly incarcerated who don't see a way out. I can tell when somebody's moving in the wrong direction or about to make a bad decision. Often immediately clicking with his clients, he's helped more than 40 people over the years, helping them bring their goals back into focus. And sometimes when I have a troubled client who might not believe what I'm doing, I got somebody in Greensboro I know you know I could call to tell you a little bit about me. And usually they'll verify like, yeah, he that dude, yeah, he from there. Um, listen to the man, work with him. His latest work is happening here at Elsewhere on South Elm Street. And inside this building, which remembers everything, new stories are being told. The paintings and the drawings are from artists who have faced incarceration or artists who have helped people who have faced incarceration. An exhibit helping to change how people see the artists. And the whole concept is this talent is here in our communities we just have to pull it out and utilize it and put it in a place where it can better our community. All of this in a city Vincent says broke the box, making it easier for people with a record to amend the record. Just the look on somebody's face when you see them walking downtown with their family. See, I got clients that I worked with 10 years ago. I got clients I worked with in Baltimore 20 years ago. And to see them doing well was like, wow, you're doing it. And the art exhibition is open Saturday from 4 to 9 and then Sunday from 11 to 8. Elsewhere is located at 606 South Elm Street in Greensboro. Katie. Michael.